If you've watched my channel for any length of time, you have probably heard me say that every stylish space has to look shitty before it can be pretty. And this apartment, where it's at right now, is in its relatively shitty phase. Now, of course, it's not shitty by any stretch of the imagination. This is a really nice apartment, but it's not at the place yet where it feels like home, like our own personal sanctuary. It's like I've been too like mentally congested with all this other stuff in my head, which I will talk about later in the video. Um, something has just sort of blocked me from my creative decorating brain. So in this video, I'm going to give you a little tour of the apartment as it is now, so you can see what we've done with it so far in terms of decorating. Again, it's not that much. And I'm going to share what my struggles have been over the last couple months with decorating this space and share what I've learned from it so that you can apply these learnings to decorating your own apartment. If you're new to my channel, my name is Steffi and I'm the creator of the interior style blog, Moda Misfit, as well as the online course, Small Apartment Styling School, and you're watching Living Pretty, the place for apartment styling tips and inspiration. And if you're also in a situation like me where you've just moved into a new apartment and you're kind of struggling with how to decorate it, how to take action, how to decide what to buy, how to decide what to put what where, <laughs> then I highly recommend you check out my free workshop, Decorate Your Dream Apartment Without Spending Money on the Wrong Decor for You, which you can watch on demand anytime. I will link to it in the description below. It's one hour of me teaching my approach to interior styling for an apartment, and it's a great place to start if you've just moved into a space like I have. So let's do the tour. So this is the apartment as it is right now. Now remember, this is not even close to being complete. We really haven't put very much effort into the styling very much at all, <laughs> but I believe there is a lot of promise and potential here. As you can see, um, we have a whole bunch of decor just sort of stationed right here. It's kind of a holding area for decor. Some of this stuff I think we'll probably donate and some of it we'll, we'll actually use. Um, one thing that definitely needs to happen is wire management. <laughs> That's one little tip for you. You definitely want to avoid this scenario where you have wires that are visible. Again, we're just kind of taking our time with all these little perfecting styling details. One thing you'll notice is the tape on the wall. We are going to be painting a big ass accent wall here and I'm really excited about it. We have the paint and everything. We're gonna do that hopefully in the next few days. So I can't wait to show you what color we chose. I'm keeping it a secret for now, but let's just say it's gonna make quite the statement. <laughs> then over here, we have our little workspace area, which I'm I am happy with how this is, this is coming along. This is Kobe's desk right here, and this is my desk right here. We both got new desks uh, for this new apartment because I was ready to let my big, my big black Ikea desk from the studio apartment go and sort of downsize and simplify, which I am liking. Then, oh, hello, Hilo. Do you like, do you like your new apartment? <laughs> All right, so once again, that's the living room. And then we have the kitchen, which is such a palace <laughs> compared to the kitchen we had in the studio. As you can see, we're doing a little bit of a um, sort of turquoise teal kind of color motif right here. I love me some speckled plates and cups. I just really love that speckled style. <laughs> And I really like brown paired with that sort of turquoise color. So that is the kitchen and the main area of the apartment. 
Not much to look at at this point of the process, I know, but I wanted to share this with you guys and show you that good styling doesn't happen overnight. Our lives are not an HGTV show where a beautiful space just suddenly happens to us through TV magic. Every stylish space has to look shitty before it can be pretty. And I know this isn't even that shitty. It's just not quite to my standards yet. <laughs> We have the bedroom, which I actually think is the most visually appealing spot in the space so far. This is just a nice little oasis. We're gonna do um, a really cool accent wall there. It's not gonna be paint, and that's all I'm gonna say for now because I want it to be a surprise, but we got the thing. In fact, it's right here. That is going to be the thing <laughs> that creates the accent wall right there. So I'm very, very excited to show that. But even as it is right now, I feel like this is a nice, pretty little bedroom. One thing I've been doing in this bedroom is I actually like to work right here and then I get to see this really pretty view as I'm working. You really just can't beat that. It's, oh, it's such a nice little slice of Seattle sky. <laughs> and finally, we have the bathroom, which we have these little boho rugs from the last apartment, the shower curtain that I got from Society6, and some cute little little details here and there. Kobe took this um, candle and then made a little usable jar out of it uh, for our Q-tips. And um, yeah, just some cute like little amber accents. So yeah, this is the bathroom. And then when we walk through this door, we are back at the beginning. As you can see, we have a whole bunch of stuff here, <laughs> our wall art and some other stuff that we have to go through. So we still have some work to do. We have our Ikea closet. One thing I really love is I got these little um, knobs from Anthropology, So that kind of instantly elevates the Ikea closet to feel a little bit more glamorous and pretty. <laughs> and yep, that is it. This is our apartment as it is now. So now that you've seen the place and where we're at in the decorating process, now I wanna share what my struggles have been, why I took two or three months off from YouTube, and my advice for overcoming these struggles since I just went through them and still, still am going through them in varying degrees. So the first struggle I'm going to talk about is the fact that moving out of the studio caused like a minor identity crisis for me. I didn't realize how much of my identity was wrapped up in the studio apartment. I lived there for five years. I grew so much as a person in there. I started Moda Misfit. I started my YouTube channel because of the studio. So when you take that out of my life equation, I felt very untethered and not having it sort of launched me into a, an existential crisis in which I had to confront who am I without the studio. Now, I know that sounds like a lot to place on just an apartment, but that's just how I operate. <laughs> so if you're anything like me and you have left a space in which a huge part of your identity is wrapped up in, here's my take on how we overcome this or just cope with it. I think it's a matter of somehow striking the balance between holding a special place in your heart for that previous apartment or previous life situation and creating room for the new space or new life situation. Because at the end of the day, we have to move forward. <laughs> I wasn't gonna live in that studio apartment for the rest of my life. 
I'm ready for my life to move forward to the next chapter where I'm sharing my life with Kobe, my boyfriend. When I shift my focus to what I'm actually gaining in this new situation, it's very easy to see that this was the right move and it's time to create another identity within these walls. Another one of my struggles with moving into this new apartment is the fact that I am very bad with change. I've always dealt with depression and anxiety and change, even if it's good change, really triggers my depression and anxiety. So for the last two or three months, I have been stuck in this mental space of feeling those depression demons coming back. Depression makes very simple things feel like insurmountable tasks. And decorating for me has been one of those insurmount, insurmount, insurmountable tasks. <laughs> Even though it's something I love doing and I'm passionate about. So if you have dealt with depression and anxiety, getting in the way of even the things that you love doing, here's how I've been kind of working to overcome that. I've honestly just given myself the space to not decorate. As you saw, there's been some decorating, but aside from that, I haven't really pushed myself. Sometimes decorating isn't the priority. I've said this in videos before and I say it in my online course, Small Apartment Styling School, that decorating is not a requirement. It is a pleasurable luxury. If you're not in the financial, emotional, or energetic space to decorate, then don't decorate. <laughs> And when you are ready to decorate, which I feel like I'm getting to the place where I am ready to decorate, I think it's a matter of taking small actions and then those small actions build up and eventually your space starts to look pretty good. The next struggle I've been dealing with with moving into this new apartment is one that I expected would be a challenge for me, but I don't think I expected it to be this much of a challenge <laughs> and that is the fact that I am sharing a space with a significant other Kobe and that means compromising and collaborating and truly sharing the space with another human being and one of my toxic traits is the fact that I frankly don't like compromising <laughs> and collaborating we're working on that. <laughs> this is the first time we are truly in a space that is both of ours, that we are making decisions together on. And I've been finding that I've really been struggling with having to share the decision-making process with someone else. One of the things that I preach about on this channel is uh, to really have yourself in mind, you as a person in mind when you're decorating your apartment, to make decisions based on your personality and your love, the, the, the things that you love in life. And I have a very self-centered approach to decorating in the sense that I urge you to put yourself at the center of all your decorating decisions. What I'm realizing is that even though that is, I, I stand by that, when you factor someone else into that, it becomes a little harder. <laughs> There's a huge part of me that has been like, well, if I can't make all these decisions myself and do everything that I want to do without considering someone else, then I don't really want to do it. <laughs> and that's not good. I, I fully realize that is not a, a, a good, healthy way to be. So if you too have just moved in with your significant other or you've been living with your significant other for a while and you're having some of these issues that I'm having, here's how I've been trying to overcome it. The key is communication. And I know that sounds so cliche, but it's true. I have tried my best to communicate with Kobe and share these maybe darker parts of myself, <laughs> the dark parts of myself that are very self-centered and can't 
compromise or collaborate about my space. <laughs> I've just been open about them because if I if I'm not open about them when they come out in ugly ways and cause tension between us at least he has some point of reference about where that's coming from doesn't excuse my uh, more selfish behavior but at least we're open with each other and we know what needs to be worked on and allow for the fact that amazing decorating decisions can be made with two people putting their heads together rather than me taking ownership over everything. That's a hard pill for me to swallow, but logically I know that it's true. Beautiful things can happen from collaboration. So if you're going through something similar, keep that in mind. Beautiful things can happen from collaboration. Another struggle I've been dealing with is the empty canvas curse. That's when you have a brand new empty apartment and it has all this promise and potential, but at the end of the day, it's an empty canvas and suddenly you have to put a pretty picture together on it. I'm not usually intimidated by an empty apartment. I, I, I'm pretty good at figuring out what I wanna do. But you add all these other struggles that I've been talking about in this video into the equation and suddenly the empty canvas feels really empty. So with this empty canvas curse, I am having a hard time getting inspired and establishing a vision for the space, which you know if you've watched my workshop or any of my videos that establishing your vision is the key thing to do in the very beginning of the process. To feel that sense of inspiration and overall vision that propels you through your decorating process and gets you to make good decisions. I've been having a hard time finding that vision. So to overcome this, my advice to you and to myself is to Go back to the basics, peruse Instagram, peruse Pinterest, try to find some visual inspiration that will spark that creativity in you. Honestly, just watch any of these videos. They are all about finding your style, establishing your vision, figuring out how to decorate your space so that it aligns with you. And again, my free workshop, Decorate Your Dream Apartment Without Spending Money on the Wrong Decor for You, is a really good place to start for establishing this sense of vision and figuring out how to proceed with your decorating. And the final struggle I'm gonna talk about is actually a really good thing. It's a good thing that has distracted me away from decorating the apartment and from this YouTube channel. And that is a brand new creative endeavor that I'm starting. Over the last three months, I have been building a brand new business as a web designer. And that has taken a lot of my time and energy. I've already designed three websites over the last three months and I'm on my fourth right now. So in addition to Moda Misfit, I am also now a web designer, which was inspired in the first place by Moda Misfit. When I started Moda Misfit back in 2018 and created my website for it and my blog for it, I fell in love with web design because apparently it's not enough for me to decorate physical spaces, I also need to decorate digital spaces as well. So even though this is a decor channel, I'm gonna give myself a little shameless plug for Steffi Designs. If you need a website or know of anyone who needs a website, click the link below. I'll link to the Steffi Designs website. Take a look at my work and reach out if you want me to do your website. So if you're in a similar situation where you're launching yourself into a brand new creative endeavor, or maybe you've started a new position at work or just got a new job, and the time and energy and focus that that new thing takes is taking away from decorating, my advice is to focus on that thing. Like I said earlier, decorating is not a requirement. Sometimes other things have to take priority. And if you have a dream, in order to realize that dream, you really have to throw yourself into it. 
And it just so happens that I started Steffi Designs right when we were moving into this new apartment. And it's been yet another sort of energy suck that has taken away from decorating the space. And frankly, I think that's okay. Maybe just find little ways, little actions you can take to make your space feel inspiring, at least to some extent. But aside from those little actions of decorating your space, I think it's totally fine to fully focus on what it is you're pursuing, whatever new thing you're doing. So those are the things that I have been struggling with or just have gotten in the way of decorating this apartment and have gotten in the way of my YouTube channel and being present on social media. I needed to retreat into a little hole for a bit. And stick with me because I'm gonna keep giving you my apartment styling tips. And what's even better is they will be based on my actual experience in decorating this apartment with Kobe and you'll be able to see this whole apartment come together. So until next time, you can follow me on Instagram at moda.misfit and hit subscribe so that you don't miss out on any of the new developments that we make in this apartment. And remember, your apartment is destined to be pretty and you are pretty powerful.